Hello everyone and welcome to Barca News. It's August 31st, 2022 and Barcelona are working to finalize the signing of two players in order to reinforce the fullback positions. Also, the transfer of Aubameyang to Chelsea has suffered a setback and we now know the reason why Marc Ter Stegen has not been on top of his form these past two seasons. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone, before I begin with the news, it's a quick reminder that I am currently raffling a Barcelona jersey as a thank you to all my amazing supporters and this raffle will be open until the channel reaches a thousand subscribers which are, we are only 18 subscribers away from reaching that goal. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you could be entered in this raffle to win a Barcelona jersey where the winner will get to pick which Barcelona jersey they get to take home along with other details such as the name and the number that will be printed on the back. Now I'll begin with the news that today is the last day of the summer transfer market in Italy and France and tomorrow will be the final day in the summer transfer market in Spain, England and Germany. Now since tomorrow is the last day in a summer transfer market in La Liga, I will be posting my video later in the day after the market closes because I want to make sure to give you the most accurate information in my video given that tomorrow will be a hectic day with the information changing with every passing hour. Now I don't want to post a video and then having all that information change after posting it. So in order to bring you the most accurate information, I will not be posting my video until the summer transfer market officially closes in Spain. And with the final day of the summer transfer market approaching pretty quickly, Barcelona are now working on signing two players to reinforce on fullback position and to offload the players that Xabi does not count on this season. Now it's reported that Marcos Alonso will be landing in Barcelona tomorrow in order to finalize his transfer from Chelsea in order to reinforce force the left back position. Now Marcos Alonso has agreed to arrive in Barcelona on a 5 million euro transfer fee and he has also agreed to adjust his salary according to Barcelona's needs. Now it's reported that Barcelona will have to offload a player before they can sign and register Marcos Alonso so the player will be landed in Barcelona without having 100% certainty that his transfer will be finalized. Now there's one thing that we have learned in the summer transfer market that if so there is something that needs to be done in regards to a transfer, Mateo Alemani and Jordi Cruyff will make sure that thing will happen so I'm pretty sure that the club will be able to uh, not only sign but also register Marcos Alonso prior to the closing of the summer transfer market. Now it's also reported that Marcos Alonso had received several offers from different clubs including ones that are more lucrative than Barcelona and the Spanish defender rejected all of them because he's only interested in coming to the Catalan club. Now in regards to the right back position, it's reported that Hector Bellerin is now waiting for Barcelona's call and the club has asked him to wait until tomorrow before the summer transfer market closes because as I just mentioned, the club need to offload a player before they can finalize any new transfers. Now Hector Bellerin has also agreed to adjust his salary in accordance to Barcelona's needs and it's reported that the player had received many offers including lucrative ones from the Italian leagues which he has rejected all of them. Now it was Hector Bellerin main objective to end up in Real Betis where he just spent last season there on loan. However, because of Real Betis' uh, financial problems, they have informed him that they will not be able to sign him, so he's now ready to join Barcelona. But as I reported previously, Serginho Des has finally agreed to leave Barcelona after Xabi informed him that he does not count on him in this season, given his inconsistent performance. What's well, now being reported that Serginho Des' main priority is to join Manchester United, and Man U's coach Eric Ten Hag is in favor of having Serginho Des on his squad since he coached them when they were both at Ajax. Now in order to sign Serginho Des, Manchester United will have to offload a player, especially their current right back Aaron Wan-Bissaka who has fallen out of favor with Eric Ten Hag and until that happens Manchester United will not be able to sign Serginho Des. Now Eric Ten Hag has stated that it will be very difficult to offload Wan-Bissaka before the market closes so Serginho Des might have to settle to go into a different club which he does have several clubs interested in him in the Spanish league. Now on to the breaking news that the transfer of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang from Barcelona to Chelsea has suffered a setback with the announcement that Aubameyang has a broken jaw that will leave him out of action for one month. Now as I reported previously, four armed robbers broke into Aubameyang's home while he was there with his family and assaulted him and then forced him to open the safe where they stole all of his jewelry. Well it appears that Aubameyang suffered a broken jaw during this home invasion that will keep him out of action for at least 3-4 to four weeks. Now Aubameyang does have a personal agreement with Chelsea and his transfer to the Premier League is pending Barcelona 
and Chelsea reaching an agreement in regards to his transfer fee. Now it's reported that Chelsea will finalize the transfer of Aubameyang, however they will use the, his injury as an advantage in order to negotiate a more favorable offer for the London based club. Now Barcelona and Chelsea met yesterday in order to discuss the transfer fee of Aubameyang with no luck and the clubs will be meeting today once again in order to finalize the players transfer. Now in regards to Memphis Depay, the Dutch forward still has no offers from any clubs. However, as I reported in yesterday's video, which I will leave the link for down below in the description in case you want to check it out, there are several clubs interested in him. However, he seems to be the option B for many of those clubs. Now if any of those clubs fail to sign their number one option for striker, they will try to sign Memphis Depay, so he could be receiving an offer during the last moments of the summer transfer market. Now Xabi is in favor of keeping Depay on the squad as Robert Lewandowski's natural substitute and even though the player would like to stay in Barcelona, he's not in favor of being a substitute, especially with the World Cup right around the corner. Now in regards to Miralem Pjanic, the Bosnian midfielder has some interest from other clubs, especially from Lyon in France and even though there were rumors that the Saudi club Al Shabab were interested in signing Pjanic, Al Shabab's president spoke out yesterday denying those reports. Now, Miralem Pjanic has stated that he prefers to stay in Barcelona. However, if the club do receive a favorable offer, he is willing to leave because he doesn't want to cause any problems with Barcelona and he wants to do everything in his power to help out the club. Now, on to the news that the Greek club AEK Athens are interested in signing Martin Braithwaite and it's reported that they're willing to offer him a lucrative contract. Now AEK Athens are not in a hurry to sign Martin Braithwaite given that the Greek summer transfer market will not close until September 15th. Now it's also being reported that the Spanish clubs Espanyol and Rayo Vallecano are both keen on signing Martin Braithwaite who is currently negotiating a contract rescission with Barcelona where the club have reportedly agreed to pay him 5 million euros. Now on to the news that Abde has finalized the negotiation with Osasuna where he will be going there on loan until the summer of 2023 with no option or obligation to buy. Now Abde will be extending his contract with Barcelona from 2024 until 2026 and even though he had several offers from other clubs, he chose Osasuna because him and Barcelona agreed that that would be the best club for him in order to continue his growth and development. Now Xabi is very impressed with Abde and he does count on him on, in the future. So this will be the same formula followed as Nico and Alex Collado where Abde will be leaving strictly only to get more playing minutes so he can come back a stronger and better player. Now on to the news that Barcelona could be earning some money off the possible transfer of Jean-Claire Todibo from the French club Nice to the English club Leicester. Now Barcelona permanently transferred Todibo to Nice last summer transfer window for 8.5 million euros and they retain 20% of any future sale. Well now that Chelsea have signed Wesley Fofana from Leicester, Leicester will be looking to sign Todibo from Nice and if they do Barcelona will be earning 20% of that sale which is given the club's financial situation it's great news. Now we will end today's video with the news that we now know the reason why Mark andre Ter Stegen was not in his best form during the past two seasons. Now it's been leaked in the Catalan press that Mark andre Ter Stegen had a knee injury that was causing him pain and discomfort and was also preventing him from doing weight training as part of his routine and as a result that limited his strength and mobility which impacted his performance on the field. Now Mark Ter Stegen had rose, risen to be one of the best goalkeepers in the world in these past two seasons. His his form declined and he made several mistakes that made him fall out of that list of top goalkeepers in the world. Now at the end of last season Ter Stegen underwent a knee procedure that has fixed his injury and he also underwent some special physical therapy sessions and some weight training sessions during the summer which have improved his strength and mobility. Now this was very evident in the first three La Liga matches where Mark Ter Stegen had a brilliant performance and he also had great and improved form so hopefully Ter Stegen can keep up this great Great form because if there's anything we've learned from Real Madrid past season is that having a great goalkeeper under the three posts is vital to the team's aspirations and winning trophies. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I would like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club. FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video and as always, bisca Barça.